right, I am not so tipsy anymore. <laughs> I feel a lot better. I, I washed up, I got some food, but I'm feeling better. Anyways, today we're going to go ahead and talk about the whole gear reroll substats and how that is working. Because uh, I am very surprised that Global is releasing it this early into the game, which is a massive W. But then also, we are going to go ahead and talk about the world raid boss. Uh, so that's going to be during the second half of this video. If you want to go ahead and skip ahead, you're more than welcome to. But this first half, we're going to go ahead and talk about the gear reroll. So if y'all are new, drop a like, hit the sub, it would help me out a ton. And uh, we'll kind of get into things. Now, like I said... Global players, you have it truly privileged. Like, y'all have no idea how privileged you are on this version in comparison to JP and KR. Because we just got this update, like, not too long ago. I feel like it's probably been, like... I think we got it maybe during Season 5. But if not Season 5, then for sure we got it during Season 6. So, it's crazy. Um, the fact that y'all are getting this blows my mind. But if you have played Grand Cross, 7 at least since Grand Cross, then you are quite familiar with how this is working, with the whole... I believe they're called hammers and anvils, I think, if I remember correctly. But essentially, you have your gear, right? You have one piece of gear, and then in global, in just about like two days' time, then you were able to obtain a resource that allows you to go ahead and reroll your subsets. Now, it is going to look something... Oh, that's, that, that's transcendence. It's going to look something like this, okay? So, right now, on JP and KR, we have only had access to these two. We have not had access to this third one yet which I'm assuming they are saving it later on, but essentially, you do have different rarities of this item that allows you to go ahead and reroll your subsets. The lower rarity one is going to reroll all of your subsets. So as you can see, there's a little lock icon. If you do use the yellow one, which I'm assuming will probably be on global, I don't think the red one is, or yet, maybe it will, I'm not too sure, but for sure the yellow one and the light green one will probably will be. And then, so if you want to lock one of your subsets, let's just say you have a really, you have like an amazing, amazing, amazing piece, for one of your gear sets, but you don't want to change that subset, you want to go ahead and keep it, then you would then use this material, the one in the middle, the uh, light yellow one, to go ahead and then lock it. Currently, I don't have any at the moment, so I can't show y'all, but if, if I did have this piece, then I would go ahead and lock in my 2.72 defense, and then if I, if I you know, go ahead and reroll it, it would then reroll the other three subsets, which is going to be something amazing. So, like for example, let's just say, let, let me go over to Noel, right? So, Noel, for example, is, uh, let, let's see, what's a good subset that I do want to fix up here? Let's just say this one, right? This is a really, really good subset, and I do want to go ahead and maybe keep my 11.31 crit rate. Yes, it's not the best, and I'm not sure if Global is actually going to have the ranking system for subsets. We just got this update, so I, I, I'm not sure if we're going to do this yet. If we will be on Global, I'll be so happy. But let's just say I want to go ahead and keep my 11.31% crit rate. Which is really good and then so by using this material i can then go ahead and lock it and then it would then reroll the other three which is going to be nice and you can do it as many times as you want to as long as you have the material which is really good so the lower rarity one which is the one everyone's gonna have access to this is going to simply reroll your entire subsets for that piece of gear so let's go to let's let's go to this one right so by me clicking this one, as you can see, I do have a physical piece of 2,996, that's the main stat, and then these are the subsets. Obviously, not the most ideal because I don't want magic percentage on a physical piece, I want physical percentage on a physical piece. So, I'm going to go ahead and reroll this, um, I'm only going to do it one time. Each time you reroll, it rerolls the entire thing using the lower rarity one. So, I reroll, perfect, and then what do we get here? Anything good? Um... Okay, it's better, right? So we did get a 1.7% as our, one of our subsets for our physical piece. And then the rest of the three are unfortunately not really benefiting us too much. So if I wanted to go ahead and reroll again, even though I had this piece at 1.7 and it's somewhat good, it, since I'm not using the higher rarity one, it does not stay locked. As you can see, I try to lock it and it won't let me. So yeah, um, if you reroll using this material and you get like yourself a, like a banger piece, like, like an amazing top tier piece for that gear set, Unfortunately, if you go ahead and reroll with this item, then you are rerolling that same exact subset that you just got. So, kind of bear that in mind, but I'm sure on Global, this will be available. I'm not too sure about the, the red one. The red one, it says that you do get to keep two, which is insane. So, the red one, I would then go ahead and keep this one, and let's just say maybe the 75, or 75 Magic Tag, I would keep these two, and then go ahead and reroll these. But, it's not on JP Care, so I don't know if it's going to be on Global, but essentially, that is how the whole gear stuff is working. Very nice, very OP, and like honestly, this is such a like great and OP way to increase your CC. Now, where to obtain them, right? <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, I know y'all don't like to hear this, but it is available in a more pay-to-win manner than anything. Now, 
as you can see here is the item we are able to get 10 per day so you can buy 10 of these per day but it will cost you 500 black crystals i don't recommend you buy it because it's not worth it so for free to play you're never buying this please don't um and then if you do want to obtain it in a free to play manner there will be events like certain raids and stuff like that that do allow you to get these from the shop so I'm not sure if I have a shop that will allow it. Okay, so right now there's not any shop, but sometimes when the game does have special events or whatnot, then this item will become available and you can go ahead and exchange it through the event currency. So that's going to be nice. Potentially it could be in the um, Season 2 event as well. So if so, that is a major W. And these are really important, okay? Like they, they may not seem high rarity or anything like that, but you get a very very small amount of these and i've actually been stupid in the past before to go ahead and buy these like multiple times do not do not do not make that mistake okay so that is where you are able to get these materials for reroll substats that's how it's working um and then next up we're gonna go ahead and transition over to the world raid boss and see how that's working all right all right when it came to the world raid boss it is very very different in the sense of the current raid that we have right now right so we have right now on global the red raid Belt of Gios, whatever his name is, and that raid is kind of just more of a completion raid. This raid, however, you're going to have a ranking system to this. So the way it works is there are going to be two phases, just like how the red raid has it. I think like every single raid in the game has two phases, by the way. It does, actually. So every raid that comes out on Global will have two phases unless they decide to drastically change things up. This is considered a world of raid boss. So obviously, meaning the world, meaning the word world it does kind of involve the community so you do see a hp of 100 percent here at the bottom of your screen essentially that is how much hp the overall raid has for the entire community so it is our job to go ahead and play it we do get three attempts per day which means that whales you're gonna have to carry us <laughs> and kind of just take this down but i mean if everyone just does their three runs every single day then we will have no problem defeating it especially with how big global servers are then i yeah we're absolutely chilling but this is how it's working, two phases, and obviously there are going to be three difficulties. There aren't any higher than this, by the way, so I believe phase one is 70 KCC. Phase two is like 130-ish, and then I believe stage or phase three is like almost like 200,000. So it, it can be pretty tough here. Um, they might up the difficulty, I'm not too sure. But the way that this is working is you kind of do the same thing with the Red Raid. You build a team of eight, two teams of four. And when it comes to the actual fight itself, uh, let me just go ahead and skip past this. Okay, so when it comes to the fight for the raid itself, sorry if the quality is whatever, I don't know what's going on. It should be 4K, I don't know why it's not. Okay, when it comes to the actual raid, as you can see here, there is a letter. Um, so it goes from C to B. So the way that you need to do your team comps is it is going to be a damage calculator. All right, so as you can see, there are six turns that the raid boss has. He will not attack you, by the way. Or actually, I'm sorry, he does attack you. He does attack you, but if you die, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So in this in this event, it does not matter what your CC is. It does not matter what units you bring on. You can take one unit, you can take two, three, four, or ever many units you want to. You will not die to this raid. But instead, you are given a ranking. And depending on your ranking, you are then given a certain amount of rewards for that raid. So... Um, for example, here, let me go ahead and speed up, because, yeah, I mean, as you see, you have six turns to do, or I'm sorry, you have 12 turns, so there's a little gauge timer over here, you have 12 turns to go ahead and carry out your attacks, you can do as much damage as you want to, and the more damage you do, obviously, at each time you do deplete this bar, it does go down from D to, let's see, uh, it goes from D to C, and then I believe to, I got it down to B on this run, I think. I don't know what team call was taking. Okay, I got it down to A, and then just eight turns left. So I believe you can get all the way up to like double S. I'm not too sure, but yeah, this raid is actually really fun, really really fun. Ah, okay. So now I remember. So the first time you complete this, the first phase or the phase, uh, the first difficulty that you do take on, for the first phase, the highest ranking that you are able to obtain is A rank. So you cannot go higher than this. You cannot go for S. As you can see, I just beat it. I beat it again, and I'm only stuck at A rank. So. For the first difficulty of 70k CC, you're only allowed to get a, for the first phase at least, you're only allowed to get A rank, uh, I believe for the second phase here, let me just go ahead and do this, uh, or this is the second phase, so the first difficulty, you're only able to obtain A rank, and then when it comes to the next difficulty, so let me just go ahead and do this, so I get anything higher, I think I get S rank, yeah, so you are able to get to S rank on the second difficulty, let's see if I can go for double S here, 
Uh, for the second phase, then I was able to obtain... Okay, so in second phase, you're only able to get up to S rank. And then when it comes to the third difficulty, hopefully I do take it on. Is this the third one? Let's see. This is the power level of 184 that I brought my team on. So it was only in the second phase. I don't think I was able to do the third phase for some reason. Uh, let me double check. Okay, I was actually. Great. So yeah, okay, perfect. It, it shows you right here. So up here, it'll show you. You can go from D to SSS. Obviously, your goal is to do as much damage. So you want to get to triple S as much as you possibly can. And by you getting triple S rewards, you are then able to obtain... Uh, let's see, because it actually takes you a while. You're going to leave this on auto, by the way. You're not going to actually fight this, because unless you really try hard for the first attempt, then yeah, you can. But uh, mainly, you are going to just auto this and try to get whatever damage off you can, if possible. I mean, you're, you guys were seeing it firsthand how long it took me here. So, I was able to obtain, let's see if it loads up. I think I got double S, triple S, I'm not too sure. Ranking, I got S rank, okay? So, depending on your ranking of S, double S, or triple S, whatever ranking you get, you do get these rewards. The higher ranking, then the higher rewards you get. And then when it comes to the exchange shop, you are... Uh, and then here is the ranking if you do want to look at it as well. I mean, it's really cool actually because then you kind of see, you know, what players you are up against. And as you can see, as of this, well, when I did this run, I was rank 84. So, I mean, not too shabby, you know, not too shabby. And then as players complete it, we do get the HP down. I think if we complete the raid overall, we do get like some massive rewards, which is going to be really nice on global. So that is how the raid is working. And then when it comes to the exchange shop, uh, let me just double check here. Exchange shop. Okay, so this is the exchange shop. So on global, I hope they buff it because uh, by having these rewards is actually pointless. Believe it or not, <laughs> this box was the best thing that you can get from here. And uh, for this box, it was only enhanced gear items. Now for new players, this is a blessing. 100%. This is a blessing. But for players who have been kind of who, or who have been playing since day one, then you already have this. So with that being said, I I. That's you're watching, please buff this shot because it's not it's not so great. So it's great in a sense for new players, but this is how the shop is looking like. Um, this raid shop really doesn't have anything special, if I'm being honest with you. The only thing that is good, the only thing that is good, is probably these items, which you can use towards accessories to get your rates higher to potentially LR accessories. But even then, I would not count on it. Um, I'm not sure if I go through. Let me just double check this real quick. Okay, I don't think I go through it, but uh okay so i actually buy these then oh, i do buy these okay so i bought it just to be safe if you want to pick up the enhancement stones for your gear i would because i know that sometimes getting these lr um gear stones to upgrade your gears can take a lot out of your resources so if you want to buy these i do recommend it but i mean overall the currency you do get a lot you know you absolutely get a lot so Unless they decide to massively change the shop, then I don't think it's worth buying anything. Uh, like this box for sure. This was, like I said, the best thing that you could buy. When it came to this 1000 thing, I had to double check. So let me, let me see what this was exactly. I'll be... Oh, okay. So global, y'all do not have this yet, I think. I could be wrong. But uh, let me actually go back to my game to show you what this is. So in game, right? So on JP and Care, we had this to where we are able to create a gear. Now, the gear that we are creating is very... You can't buy from the shop, you can't farm it or anything like that. So if I go over to Vanessa, we are able to create lifesteal gear, uh, a debuff gear, which is y'all don't have on global yet. And then this is going to be a toughness set. So as you can see, these are the resources that we were able to obtain by purchasing that 1000 box. It is not worth it. If they keep it the same exact gear as these, then definitely it's not worth it. Uh, yeah, don't buy this. I believe right now in the PvP shop, y'all have... The lifesteal gear it will rotate so it'll go from lifesteal to this whole speed debuff to then toughness um so it depends on the season for pvp but if you keep your eye on it then you are able to buy those gear sets if you want to but if not then you can go over here buy the box uh for these materials and then go ahead and over here to convert it but like i said it is genuinely not worth buying so that is pretty much the raid um like i said nothing special but i i do hope and pray that they actually buff the shop up because it was like it is so bad. Like, you're not really buying anything besides these. You're buying all of these. You're not buying this. You're not buying this. It is not worth it. You are buying these. And I think these do refresh every single day. If that's the case, my goodness. Um, 
But if you want to buy the gear one, you can because the raids aren't too bad. You actually have a decent chance. I think I actually bought some and opened it on stream. Uh, let me double check. Do I... Do I actually open these? I think I did, right? Let's, uh... I think I already did open it. Alright, I buy two more here, and then... We go, and then we do four. What do we get? Okay, so... It's not too bad. If you if you are needing UR gear, then yeah, go ahead and purchase these because it is the enhanced version of normal gear sets, which is going to be a lifesaver for you. So in that sense, yeah, pick it up. But for like day one players, I don't think you need it because you all you, you should be farming LR gear already. If you're not, then you might be doing something wrong. But anyway, so that is everything you need to know about the whole gear uh, reroll substats and then the world raid boss that is coming to global here in just two days. So. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and end there. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Comment down below. But I went through the shop. I explained how the whole gear reroll substats are working. I explained this as well. And um, yeah, I guess that's, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Low key. So whenever the raid does come out, I will tell y'all team comps. But I kind of wanted just to tell you how it's working. So I didn't want to go into deep detail like that. So stay tuned for the guys. And uh, yeah, I'll end it there. Take care. Peace.